Hey guys, um, so I have no, oh no. So I have no idea what I'm filming today. I have no idea what tutorial I'm gonna do. I posted a picture, let me show you the picture. I posted this picture on Instagram and everyone is asking for a tutorial on it and yes, I'm gonna do a tutorial on it but not right now. But I just saw that we had 190,000 subscribers and um, I wanted to do this last night too but I was kinda too tired. I just wanted to like, you know, make a tutorial up on the spot. I have like a face mask that didn't come off. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea where this is going to go. All I know is that I have Scandal on right now, Season 2, Episode 8. If you guys remember this one, it's Happy Birthday, Mr. President. It is intense. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with my face because I just got a new contour palette and I want to try it out. Apparently everything is color-coded. There are tags on each dress. Okay, so I just got a lot of products that I haven't used in a while that I want to try out again or even some new products. So this is just like a standard face primer that I always use all the time. This is the Jouer Matte. Oh my god, why do I keep doing this? This is the Jouer Matte Face Primer. Um, if we're going to be honest here, I think it's good. It gets the job done, but I don't really notice a significant difference when I use a primer versus when I don't use a primer. Um, but I just kind of do it now because it's like an extra step that I can do. And you guys know how extra I am and how much I love makeup, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to try the Born This Way Foundation in the shade Warm Nude. I use this in my Kendall Jenner tutorial, and everyone's like, oh my god, that's such the wrong color for your face. And I'm like, listen, did you see me blend it out? It looked good. Okay, so here comes future Tori editing past Tori for the voiceover. Ha ha ha, funny. Anyway. What I'm doing right now is just blending out the foundation. I decided it all over my face and blended it out with a damp beauty blender. I just want to, you know, pop in real quick and say I love this foundation. It is so, so smooth on the skin and it looks like skin in my opinion. And it's so hydrating. It's just, I love this cool. foundation. Olivia Pope just touched the constitution. I feel like that's really illegal, but whatever. Um, okay, so Velvet 59, if you guys don't know, they aren't ever paying me for any sponsor shout outs. I will say that all of the Velvet 59 products that I do show are like free, like they were sent to me. Um, but that doesn't ever mean that I'm like required to talk about them. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I haven't tried it before, but it's really cute. It's their cream contour kit. What brush should I do? The, um, Disney Soho brushes. I think this is the Ariel collection. And what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use this one right here. These seem good. And then I'm just gonna put this where I'd put any contour. So, like I said, I'm just contouring where I would normally contour, and I've been doing my cheeks contouring a little bit differently, and I am going to have an everyday contour routine come out in a few weeks, but basically all that I do is I drag my contour down to my chin because it really chisels out my face a lot better, I think, and it really just defines the inner part of my face and really gives me like a sweetheart look to my face, and I really, really like how I've been doing that. So... I'm just putting this on the sides of the forehead, temples, nose, you know, all the hot spots that you, you know, you contour. But I just want to say, I really love, like, love these colors, how they blend everything. It's just so great. Here's one thing that I don't understand about nose contouring. A lot of people will put highlight right here. I mean, like, everyone's nose is different, but, like, for me, I just don't understand how people can do that because I drag... The contour all the way down here because I want my nose to be as slim as as possible. Honestly, I'm just in the mood to pack a lot of makeup on my face right now and just like record it all. Okay, so I really like this. I'm gonna go on to highlighting and stuff. I haven't used this in so long. This is the um wow, these look so great. These are the three highlighters. They just look so good, like all of them. Just so good. I think that peach one would be so nice to highlight my nose with. Okay, so I haven't used this in forever. It's the Well Rested by Bare Minerals. 
So I'm gonna try it out. It's like a yellow corrector. Gotta be honest, was a little bit disappointed with the formulation of it. Mine could just be a very old product, but I mean the outcome of it looked good. It did correct my under eyes, but it was just a little hard to work with. It was kind of dry. It was probably just my product because yeah, I've had it for so long, but it was a little dry. I'm a little hard to blend out and kind of grainy when I did apply it. Um, I will buy a new one and let you guys know because I do love this product, but yeah. Just put this on the end of the eyes. Okay, I'm feeling it. I probably don't need concealer, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, let me just clean off this brush real quick. All right, I'm gonna use Studio Finish Concealer. Honestly, haven't used this in forever. I sort of thought I threw it out a while ago. Guess I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is first clean off my concealer brush. Why didn't I do that yesterday? So I'm gonna take this, put that under my eyes. You guys know the drill with this. I'm just putting it underneath my eyes, but not going all the way out to my temple because I do not want to emphasize these sides of my face. I want to keep my face as slim as possible. And now I'm gonna go in. I don't know if I should mix the peach or the white. I kind of want to do the peach. I think I'm gonna do the peach. So I'm gonna mix this. Actually, I'm gonna mix them both. YOLO. And then I'm just going to brush that on right there to blend that out and then put it down the bridge of my nose right here and right above the jaw whoa i look great i'm really digging that palette though be right back Okay, so I always highlight after I contour and then the contour kind of washes out, but we're pretty much done highlighting. So once we go back in and put like bronzer on, um, the contour will come right back. But now I'm going to go in and set all this. So this is the La Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I stopped using this because it casts like a white shadow when you take pictures. And I had friends use this too and like I would see pictures and I would see the white shadows. I'm like, huh, so it's not just me. For a while I thought it was like concealers and stuff, but it's actually this powder. So when I know I'm not going to be having pictures taken, I use it because I do really, really, really love this powder. Okay, so I got out a pressed powder, but I don't want to use it. I'm going to use a translucent powder so I can use um, the beauty blender to set it because that seriously makes your makeup so much more flawless when you set it with a beauty blender. This powder is so nice. Like this. <coughs> so the powder that I'm using is the It Cosmetics Translucent Powder. And honey, we are baking this onto the face. You gotta bake it. Ooh, yeah, bake that. So what we're gonna do is just literally pile as much as you can on. This is like baby baking. I'm gonna do my brows, and I don't know what I want to use for my brows. I'm just gonna take this out. Oh, wait, is this one? So I always hate tinted brow gels. I don't know why, it's just, yes I do know why, because they're messy, they're sloppy, they don't get the job done, and they make your brows look huge. Like, they make them have like a very weird shape, I think, but <laughs> I'm gonna use one today. So I'm just going to run this through my brows to darken them up because my brow pencil that I'm gonna use is a little bit too light, but like, as you can see, like, it just makes your brows look ugly. They're just sloppy. Like the Benefit Gimme Brow, the brow tint, I mean, I've never used it just because I hate tinted brow gels. But I mean, if you guys like that, let me know and maybe I'll buy it. Maybe, pro I probably won't. Okay, then I'm just going to fill in the rest of my brows to make them, you know, not look this bad because this looks horrible right now. I'm going to finish it up real quick with the Lingering Brow Pencil. So you guys know I have a brow routine that will be linked down below, but I'm just trying to fix the mess of the brow gel, and let me tell you, it doesn't really work out too well. See, this is what a brow, tinted brow gel does, and then this is what pencils do. Like, there is, there is a difference. The brows are looking super rough today, and that is because of the brow gel. I need to clean these up real quick. Oh my god, I think I just missed like a really, really important part of scandal. Okay, I'm gonna take off the baking. So all that you do for that is you take some translucent powder and a big fluffy brush and wipe it away. I normally hate seeing people wipe their makeup, but ours is not going anywhere. Trust me, it's basically just like wiping a powder brush over um, like a table. That's what it feels like. I just lost all hearing in my left ear. Now that you have really bad looking eyebrows and a lot of 
um, powder on your face. We're ready to move on to the eyes. I haven't used the Vice palette in so long. It's so pretty and I bought it and I like literally don't ever use it. Let's give it a try. Now what do I do? Mm. I'm gonna do like looks that I haven't done in a while. Like I'm gonna do an ombre eye look I think. First things first, I'm gonna put a base down. I think I'm gonna use Rubenesque Paint Pot by MAC. So with Rubenesque, I'm just taking that on a flat brush and applying it all over my lid. And I did two coats of this to make it even more intense. Um, I think I'm going to put tape on this. Okay, so um, I realized that I'm going to do a lot of cream bases for this look. So I want it to be kind of intense. So I'm now going to take, what is this? Rusted, no, Pomegranate Punk. Um, it's a color tattoo, but it's always like really dried out now. So um, I just spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus kind of you know makes it workable again so scandal's getting really really good right now please excuse my scandal addiction i know it's an issue i'm trying to work on it okay but all that i'm doing with this cream shadow is applying it to the outer v of my lid to you know create the ombre look i'm just going over top overboard at this point so i'm just going to take a little bit of study by mac i think this is my first paint pot ever all right so um transition shade i'm just going to go in with the shade laced here and sloppily throw that on in the crease. I just figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a super, 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 super smoky lower lash line. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I just pulled like a bunch of eyeshadows to try and work with here. Right now, I'm gonna go in with a 239. I just need to clean that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my butt brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Free Bird. From the palette this one right here and I'm gonna put this all along the inner tear duct and like inner third of my lid it's okay if it goes in a little bit farther it's actually better if it does because then it will help blend it so I don't know what color I should go in with because there's this one from this Maybelline palette the smoked no sunbaked neutrals and it's really pretty but then there's also this one from the Vice palette, Penny Lane. So I'm going to compare the two. Okay, so this one is from, you can't even see that. This one is from the Vice palette and this one's a Smoke Neutrals. And if you guys can tell with the undertones, it seems like the Sun Baked Neutrals does work a little bit better with the pink. So I'm going to go with the Maybelline. And what I'm going to do with that... Put that on the other side of my brush and pop that in the center of my lid. And then when it comes to blending it, I'm just going to switch the brush back and forth where the two meet and it'll be like a seamless blend. Alright, so now that that's on, it's okay that that isn't as like bright because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over it with this OCC glitter in just a minute. I have three colors that I'm trying to choose from. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to use this one. It's too red. So I either have this one, which is called Noise from the Vice palette, or I have this one, which is called Wild Orchid from NYX. They look pretty similar, but this one definitely is a little bit deeper in tones and a little bit um, warmer while this one's more cool. I think we're gonna go with the one from the Vice palette. So all that I'm gonna do with that is put that on the side that the light pink was on and then pop that on the outer corner and blend it into the crease. I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of black on this outer corner to help blend it. But then I'm also just gonna switch back and forth from the some baked palette to the pink to blend them. I always use sketch, so I do kind of want to stay away from sketch. I mean, it look really good right now, but I think I'm going to use a little bit of Shadowy Lady. And it's this one right here. It's like a really, really dark purple. Looks like a black. So the goal with Shadowy Lady is to define the outer V and outer crease of the eye. So all that I'm really doing with this is following the tape dragging it into the crease and dragging it just you know along my upper lash line as well you just kind of have to keep building it until you get an intensified look that you like the vice president is horrible 
Okay, so I did this, but I really am feeling some glitter, so I'm gonna do that. This is the um, Beige Glitter by OCC. Um, if you guys have brown eyes and are doing this look, try going with this glitter. It's the Pink Glitter by OCC or any sort of more pink glitter because since brown eyes are mostly red base, putting a pink glitter on would be absolutely stunning with this look. Don't get those glitters if you're new, but use your finger for this. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. All that we're doing here with this glitter glue is applying it right where we put the Sun Baked Neutrals orangey kind of shadow. And then with the glitter and using my finger, because that is the easiest way to apply this glitter, I'm going to, you know, just tap that in the center of my lid and go back in to blend it out with the pink, shadowy lady, more of the glitter, you know, just until it's blended to your liking. And then we have a little bit, oh my god, I got a second in the camera. Okay, you know, I'm feeling the eyes. I like how they're going, so I'm going to move on to eyeliner. Um, I'm going to use gel, and this eyeliner is the Bobbi Brown. You know, eyeliner is so much easier to do when you have tape to guide you. So if you're new with eyeliner, try out this method. It's really, really great. But I also have a video on how to do winged eyeliner if you want to check that out too. I'm going to do my mascara real fast. I hate doing mascara just after I do eyeliner because it always gets messed up. I'm just using Better Than Sex by Too Faced because it honestly makes my lashes look fake. This isn't just about you anymore. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna go back and add more mascara in a bit, but let's work on the lower lash line because I'm real pumped about it. Okay, we're gonna use a various amount of colors. So first, I'm gonna go in with the tool that looks like a gardening hoe and shadowy lady. Again, this one right here. And with this, we're gonna take it all the way from the wing onto the lower lashes. So really just build that right there. Just clean 217 brush and just buff, 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 buff. Now we're gonna go in with black. This is Black Market from the Vice palette. And again, pack that right on the lower lash line. Blend it and then you just seriously got to keep blending. It's okay if this goes down super super dark We want it to now I'm gonna take zero by um, Urban Decay and this is the part where you just go crazy with the lower lash line make it as dark as you want as sloppy as you want as messy as you want you know in the moment I thought it was a lot sloppier a lot messier a lot smokier but then I'm looking back on the footage and I'm like listen girl you could have done so much more so you know if you want it to look even better go go way harder than I did because in the moment I thought it was a lot but it's it's really not I'm kind of ashamed of myself right now Okay, so in that brief commercial break, brief meaning two hours, um, I put on fake lashes, went to go get a smoothie, and my eyes watered a little bit, so I gotta clean that. Also, if you hear that humming, I got a mini fridge. Anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna do the face. Woo! Alrighty. So, um, now is where we're going to bring the contour back into our face and we're going to look chiseled out again. We're going to cut that cheek, girl. We're going to cut it. So, first, I'm going to go with the transition shade. That's my favorite. You might be able to tell. It's my favorite. I love hitting pan. Anyway, this is the Baby Don't Go by MAC. I'm taking it on a Real Techniques blush brush by Use It For Bronzer. And put this anywhere that you would put contour. So we're gonna put on the forehead. Actually, you know what? I'll let the voiceover do it because I'm gonna keep watching this handle. So basically, all that this is is a transition shade, but you know, for your face. So when we go in to do the contour, it's gonna be very easy to blend it out instead of having a harsh line that we then have to just blend out with the product that we already have placed down. But now we already have a little bit of blending going on. It just makes our life easier, and I wonder what's going on in Scandal right now. What? Madam President. Supreme Court Justice Bernard Thorne is here to see you. What just happened? I have never been more confused. 
Oh my god. And now comes back in with the contour. And this is Hula Bronzer by Benefit. It's, you know, an oldie but a real goodie. And I'm just using this to cut the cheek. And this is with a Tarte brush. I don't know what the model is. Sorry. I don't think I even like this blush color. So I'm just going to go real easy on it. It's this Tarte blush in Adored. It's a real pretty color. Like gorgeous. But... I don't know how well it's gonna go with this look. So I'm gonna use a bigger blush brush that's like really floppy. This is like my favorite blush brush ever. So I need cash look at Target. You guys know this drill. I think I can skip through this pretty quickly. Let's move right along. Okay, so that's the blush. We're gonna move on to highlights. I'm gonna go in with this one right now. It's the Hourglass Ambient Palette and I'm gonna go in with the middle one incandescent light. Put that on cheekbones. Make them cheekbones, girl. Again, you know, just highlighting the hot spots of the face. Cheekbones, nose, forehead, chin, around the mouth. You know how it goes. Alright. Lips. And then for the lips, I'm really, really sorry, but I actually didn't like the lip combination that I did in the video. I thought that I did like it, but I actually didn't like it at all. But I'm going to have the products listed down below, but here's the outro. I'm really sorry that I hated the lips, but I really did hate the lips. I hope that you guys don't hate me, but, you know, I thought that they looked good in the moment, but they really didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's move along. Here's the ending. I think that is the look. I started this at 1.15. It is currently 5.05 p.m. I guess that's it. I hope you guys liked this makeup. Um, let me know if you liked this type of video because I can definitely do more of these. But yeah, I guess that's it. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment, whatever you want. It's a free country. It's probably a really, really long video, so I will talk to you guys in my next one. Alright, so I think I need to turn the camera off now. Bye.